Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Let's continue playing Summon Knight Swordcraft Story. Last time, we got another knife. And with this knife, we shall challenge the Rampage Rabbit once again. You can do this later in the day, but I figure might as well do it now. You get a reward every time you defeat the Rampage Rabbit. So let's go. Let's fight the Rampage Rabbit. He's a little strong, but we can take it. Maybe not. Maybe- oh. Oh. I was completely wrong. I'm sorry. Run. Run away. Oh, we can't run. We have to lose. Oh, this sucks so bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's- I'm sorry. I thought I was ready. Obviously, we were not ready for that. But it's okay. So, uh... Nothing really happened. Our weapons durability is down though, so that's the difference between this game and the last game. The weapons, they uh, they need to be constantly repaired over time. We can use certain items to increase their, to recover their durability, or we can go back to the, the forge and repair them that way. Alright, so here we are. We can switch our field weapon by pressing the L or R button. Hammer, sword, axe, or spear. Or knuckle and drill, but they didn't say those. So now we have a sword. It, it does the same things as the hammer. Everything, the, the hammer is only there for some things. But for now, the sword can be used. After I break all these boxes and get worms. The sword can be used to break grass. And cut tall blades of grass that we can't cross for some reason. And now here we are. Let's see here. There's a chest over there. It's got an axe. It's got an axe-shaped stone. Cool. Aha! Here we go. This is it. This is the spirit. So let me just pause and save state here, and we're gonna fight it because I want to get something from it. All right. Save state and attack. Let's see if we can do it. Did I get? Ah, I didn't get what I want. Come on. Come on, buddy. Give me what I want. Ah, give me what I want. There it is, there's the charged ore. We'll need that for later. I want, oh, here we go. There's a rare metal in the corner of this area right here. And here are some berries and trees we can't get yet, but oh well. Yeah, I'll be farming charged ore uh, on the way back, so why don't you just let me cut here, grab some charged ore, and I'll meet you back at the forge. Alright, we're back. I'm gonna rest in this, and I leveled up while I was gone as well. I ran into a couple of monsters, so let's show you those. You already know about the slime, it drops a flat stone. The cuckoo drops a small worm. The spirit drops a charged ore, and the hop dog drops a kicker berry. I don't have any kicker berries, but we did fight the hop dog off screen. Press the repair option to repair your weapons. So here's what we gotta do. Uh, we have a knife right now, but, well, I couldn't get the charged ore earlier. I have five charged ore right now, and we can use either the charged ore or the iron ore to create a weapon. Right now, I'm going to be using iron ore, but we need that charged ore for later. Because I want to show off every weapon in this game. And for using iron ore, we will get an amateur axe. Now, axes are my favorite weapon in this game. Axes are Freaking awesome! Uh, I'll show you later. In the first game, axes were screwed over. Axes couldn't do crap. Their charge attack was crap. The only attack that they had was good was their down A move, and we'll show you that later. In this game, axes are awesome. Axes are the best. Axes can also be used to break down little stumps, so we'll be doing that too. Um, do I want to? There's some. Okay, I just want to get certain items in here before uh, we leave off. Let's see. Some of them are in the grass, and I want to get those too. But I won't be wasting all of your time by getting all this stuff. Here we go. Let's get this. Alright, some leather. And a flat stone. Good, good, good. Alright, we got some slimes here. Let's show what the axe can do. It's got a two hit combo, and it's freaking awesome! so destructive, it can OHK a lot of things. 
The down A is a launcher. It's a one singular swipe. It's pretty good. Axes have it. All the weapons in this game have subtypes. This axe does a horizontal slash. Other axes use vertical slashes. The axe we're using doesn't have a charge attack, however, so too bad. In fact, I don't think axes have a charge attack anymore. Let's break all of these things right here. And grab ourselves a spear shape stone. Let's keep moving until we can go no further, because I want to grab some stuff over here. Another spirit. So, axes, again, they... Ooh, new attack. Reduce your agility by a fair amount, making it so that you can't jump very high, but honestly, I don't care. It's, it's freaking good otherwise. I'm looking for something in here that... I'm looking for the grass to give me something. I want to give me a Zasso Leaf. Oh well. There's another rare metal right there in the corner. I think that's the only ones you'll be finding right now. Up there is a wolf, but we're not going to be fighting that wolf yet. Alright, here we go. Ooh. Also in this game, there is a threshold for damage that makes you flinch. If your defense is high enough, you won't flinch during certain attacks. This makes the axe really, really useful because the axe gives you a ton of defense. So it makes up for its lack of jumping ability. Nah, I didn't get anything. Let's make a quick trip back to the forge. There's a hot dog for you, by the way. Just in case you wanted to see one. The down slash, the down A attack for the axes are pretty good. There we go. At level 3, Kane learns Enchant Flare. So we can use that now. Let's get rid of that bandage because I don't really need it. Enchant Flare does what it always does. Now, when learning a new ability, summons will not come with a charge for it. You have to go back and rest before you can use it again. Which is okay, I guess. Doesn't doesn't keep me from having fun. Enchant Flare is pretty useful. Are they still having a meeting? Yes, they are. Okay. Ooh, but we can do something else. Let's create an item. The item I want to create in here is a... Oh, wow, they have a lot more now. Uh, I think I wanted the simple ring. Did I want the simple ring? I think I did. Because even though the minor boots are there, having the axe does not offset it by enough. I don't have 25 agility, and the axe reduces it by 25, so there's no need. Boar ring. Yeah, there are some puns in these uh, things, but oh well. Let's get the simple ring using iron ore and a flat stone. It costs a little money to make, but it's still worth it. Let's make a rub stone out of two flat stones. It recovers durability when you don't have a forge. There you have it. That's the first accessory we have in the game. A simple ring. And I think now we'll be able to take on the Rampage Rabbit. I do want to rest, and I do want to uh, get that Enchant Flare before we fight the Rampage Rabbit, though. So let's see. Oh, we might also want to make the Spear. So let's rest up. Make the Spear and challenge our Rabbit. Rabbit friend. Alright. Spear Shape Stone, Iron Ore. Now, like I said, there's a reason why I'm doing the weakest one first. Charged Orb will make a stronger weapon. Ooh, a rank up! But for now, we want to cover every single kind of weapon in the game. I want to have a full compendium for this. And our Craft Knight rank leveled up, so now we can disassemble weapons. By disassembling a weapon, we will achieve the Shape Stone, but lose the material used to make it. So now we can disassemble things. Let's see here, if I want to go over this... See how there's a TEC gauge on the bottom? Uh, how it says 19, 255? The more TEC, the more tech you have with a weapon, the more of its stats will be carried on into a shape stone. Let's demonstrate that right now with the amateur knife. Actually, let's just assemble all of them. There's no reason to keep holding onto it. So let's assemble the amateur knife. And let's disassemble the spear, because we just got it, so who needs it? The amateur axe. Because I'm not going to grind for TEC. Grinding for TEC is optional. It doesn't create that much of a difference, but as you can see, the uh, by disassembling these things, 
the shape stones come with a little bit of bonuses, like our sword shape stone has a little bit more durability, as well as the other ones. And they have a little TEC with them too. So let's use a charged ore and create a better weapon. So by investing yourself in a weapon and getting TEC, this assembly will give you bonuses like extra attack, extra agility, extra defense, extra durability. See that plus four right there? That's because we disassembled it. Let's make another axe. This time with charged ore instead. Alright, we get a metal axe with more durability. And we'll make a spear with charged ore too. I think this one's called a Yari. Y A R I. It's just a guess. Let's see. What do we make? No, it's a metal spear. Cool, alright. So let's equip those. Saber, metal axe, and metal, metal spear. Alright, with all our metal equipment, we can probably take down the Rampage Rabbit to a good effect. So let's go, let's go fight that rabbit. That rabbit's pretty tough. And the rabbit will keep getting tougher every time you fight it. Because we'll be fighting this rabbit every day of the game. Oh, that's right, I lost. So I lost out on the... Uh, I lost the prize for today. That sucks. Oh, man. Well, the prize you would have gotten would have been, I think, an Anywhere Diary. Or something like that. The later prizes are pretty awesome, so you might not want to miss out on that. But dang, I should not have lost then. Anyway. Now we got a spear. It's got a long reach and it can hit multiple boxes at a time. Pretty awesome. But that's not the only thing it can do. If we go down here to where those trees were earlier. Let me just grab some of this. For some reason, the grass has a very low drop rate and it frustrates me, but oh well. Hey, get out of my way. Alright, let's explain the spear. The spear's got a long reach. It's got a diagonal slash. A jumping spin attack. Ow. And it can hit multiple enemies at a time. The spear, however, does not have a charge attack like in the first game. Kinda sucks, but oh well. And anyway, down here, there are some berries. And by kicking him down, we get we get berries or tree branches or things of that nature. I was hoping to get a kicker berry, but oh well. Ah, yeah, look how powerful our sword is now. And that is why I recommend going back to the forge because there is a a little monster in our way. Just break these. Because the stumps always happen to drop something. Come at me! As usual, hitting an enemy in the back does extra damage, like in the first game. Another flat stone. I do like how they implemented different weapons, so you're like actually like using the weapon for something else. Like cutting grass or other things like that. Cut more grass because I want to get something. I want to get like a Zasso leaf, but I don't think it's here. Alright, let's go fight this guy. It's a hound. He's a sub boss, but he's not that tough. Doing a whole combo on it does kind of get us punished, but just grin and bear it. He's not that hard. Having metal weapons really helps, though. Alright, and now that he's gone, we can move on. And here we are, at the Wind Temple. And we've activated the teleporter. So next time on Let's Play Summon Knight Swordcraft Story, we will go into the Wind Fortress. That wasn't so hard. Can't believe no one else did that. Oh well.